All right, everybody, welcome back. This is part two of the turkey calling sequence. So we're doing a new noise every day that you can emulate in the woods. And by no means am I a pro at making any of these noises, but it works and it gets the job done and you can get the idea of what this is supposed to sound like. So yesterday we did the Yelp. What's a Yelp sound like, how to vary it, how to make different noises with it. Today we're gonna do the cluck. The cluck is a little bit harder. And the cluck is that noise when the turkeys, generally the hens are around feeding and they're puk, 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 making noise and they're moving around and you just hear them kind of puk, 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 puk. That's the cluck. The cluck's a very common noise the hens make and it's something that's pretty critical to learn how to use because oftentimes you'll get birds that hang up and you can get the hens to come in if you make them feel comfortable. They think you're another bird making noise or even a gobbler that hangs up a little bit and he starts hearing scratching and clucking and scratching and clucking. Spark his curiosity. It'll make him kind of come wandering over and see what the heck's going on. So here's the cluck. I want to start out with saying a lot of people say with the cluck to do it with your lips, and you can. And I know some callers that do. And you go, prick, prick, prick. I don't like doing that. I run out of wind, and I really can't control the wind coming out of my mouth. And it's a lot harder to control the tone. So I like to use my chest and my diaphragm. And prick, 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 prick. So to exaggerate, breathing in, prick, 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 passing it through my mouth. I don't like to go force it with my cheeks I can't quite hold the tone as well I can't be consistent so to speak so here I'll show you both versions one is with the lips and I used to do it this way and it sounds okay and you can make the noises really well and if you practice enough I'm sure you could be great at it I just can't control it in a quick sequence and it's much easier for me to just control by passing it out of my chest and out of my mouth, not using my cheeks to push that air. Looks something like this. And that would be a perfect instance if I were to add some purrs in or some scratching, and I would tone that down just for example purposes, that's much louder, but I generally keep that a lot quieter. And this is when they're just kind of walking around, checking things out and looking for the area. And the cluck is, to me, a little bit harder of a call to make because you need pressure on that reed, but you also need it to be quiet enough that it doesn't start sounding like cuts. A lot of times cover the, cover the mouth. You get the idea. The basic gist of the cut or the clock is to just more of an alert, like a gathering, like, hey, there's stuff going on over here. And a lot of times I'll grab my glass call and just kind of same thing, making the noise, make a couple different tones. Let them know there's something going on in the area. There's some birds over here. Come on over and check it out. It's a kind of a very passive noise to make just to kind of get them used to in the area. And as you start adding all these calls together, a lot of times I'll use the clucks. And as I feel the intensity of the bird changing, I'll ramp it up clucks into some cutting with some yelping. So you'll start mixing all these calls. So you're going to stay tuned. Tomorrow will be part three of this series followed by with cutting and then we're going to use the yelp and we're going to use the cluck to go into the cutting series tomorrow followed by the next day with a purring series so the purring we're going to also miss some clucks in with when they're feeding when they're looking around and strut drum and show you how to wrap all four of these together into a couple different calling sequences some standard calling sequences with some more aggressive calling sequences so if you like this guys please remember please click subscribe hit notifications so you always see our newest updates. So appreciate you guys following. So stay tuned for tomorrow's part three series with The Cut.